Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will understand how Tally Prime resets the GST status of the affected vouchers whenever you make GST related changes in a master used in the vouchers. The vouchers get immediately updated with the GST status when you save them and then you can instantly view GST reports based on the information in vouchers. However, when you make GST related changes in a master used in a voucher recorded within the effective date, the GST status of the voucher gets updated while keeping the values intact. This is because Tally Prime recomputes GST statuses of the affected vouchers either when you save the master or while opening of the GST reports. It is important to note that when you make GST related changes in a master, only the vouchers recorded within the effective date specified while altering the master get affected. Now, let's see how GST status gets reset in the affected vouchers when you make GST related changes in the company. Press F11 and enable goods and services tax. In the GST details screen, if you change the fields like state, registration type, periodicity of GSTR1, or the applicability of eBay bill, or e-invoicing, then the GST status of the vouchers get affected. Let's change a value and see how it works. For instance, let's change the periodicity of GSTR1 to quarterly and press enter. Provide the effective date and press enter. Press Ctrl plus A and you will notice that Tally Prime prompts you to save the master in different ways you can choose from. If you press Y, then the changes get saved in F11 and the GST status of the affected vouchers get updated when you open the respective GST return report in Tally Prime. However, if you press U, then the GST statuses of the affected vouchers start getting updated immediately. Let's press U. As you can see, the status bar shows the number of vouchers for which GST status is getting updated. Now, let's see what happens when you make GST related changes in ledgers, groups, stock items, stock groups, and other masters. Let's open a ledger. Press Alt plus G. Alter master. Ledger And then let's open a party ledger In the ledger alteration screen, if you change the fields like state, registration type, or place of supply, then the GST status of vouchers that contain the ledger gets updated For instance, consider that the party's registration type has changed from unregistered slash consumer to registered Select the registration type and press enter Enter the GS10 slash UIN of the party. Press enter until you need to specify the effective date. Press Ctrl plus A and Tally Prime prompts you to choose whether you want to update the GST status at the time of saving the master or later at the time of opening the report. In this instance, let's press Y and you can see that the changes made in the ledger get saved. Now, press Alt plus G. Type or select GSTR1 and press enter. Tally Prime prompts you that the GST status of the affected vouchers will get updated when you open the report. Press Y to update the GST status of the affected vouchers and view GSTR1. Similarly, if you have a practice of maintaining accounting ledgers such as sales and purchase with the GST related information such as GST rate or HSN slash SAC info, then whenever you make changes, Tally Prime provides you with the flexibility to update the GST status immediately or later. Moreover, you might have maintained the GST related information in the accounting groups. Therefore, if you make GST related changes in the accounting groups, you can choose to update the GST status of the affected vouchers immediately or later at the time of opening the report. Changing the group of a ledger or stock group of a stock item also leads to change in the GST statuses of the affected vouchers. 
Furthermore, any GST related change made in stock item or stock group such as changing the GST rate or HSN slash SSE info of the item or group will lead to the updation in the GST status of the affected vouchers. Let's open a stock item and change the GST rate and HSN slash SEC info. Press Alt plus G. Alter Master. Stock item. Type or select the name of the stock item and press Enter. Under HSN slash SEC and related details, change the HSN slash SEC. Thereafter, change the GST rate under GST rate details. Press Ctrl plus A. And for this instance, let's press Y. You can see that the GST status of the affected vouchers did not get updated as it will get updated when you open the returns. When you have a lot of transactions that get affected due to the GST related changes, you can opt to update the GST status of the affected vouchers at the time of opening the returns. This saves you a great deal of time when you are working on the masters or transactions. Let's open GSTR1. Press Alt plus G. Type or select GSTR1. And press Enter. As you can see, you get a message that informs you about the change in the GST status of the affected vouchers recorded within the effective date. Press Y to open the report with the updated GST status of the affected vouchers. The GST related changes in duties and taxes ledger, unit of measurement or GST classification from a perspective of GST also lead to the updation in the GST status of the vouchers. Now, let's see how the changes in voucher types can lead to the updation of GST status in the vouchers. When you have automatic or multi-user auto method of voucher numbering in a company created or migrated to Tally Prime release 3.0 or later releases, by default, the original voucher numbers get retained despite insertion or deletion of vouchers. This ensures that the voucher numbers of the transactions uploaded on GST returns while filing returns remain unaffected in Tally Prime. However, if you change the voucher numbering behavior to renumber vouchers in voucher types, the voucher numbers of the vouchers get affected, as a result of which, the GST status of the affected vouchers get updated. Let's see how it works. Press Alt plus G. Alter Master Voucher Type Type or select the name of the voucher type and press Enter. Set the numbering behavior on insertion slash deletion as renumber vouchers. Press Ctrl plus A and press Y. As you can see, the GST status of the vouchers get updated. As you observe, in Tally Prime, the GST statuses of the affected vouchers get updated when you make GST-related changes in the masters. Moreover, you can choose to update the GST status at the time of saving the master or later when you view the GST return report. Thank you. To know more about Tally Prime features, visit help.tallysolutions.com. Subscribe to the Tally Solutions channel for the latest videos.